Good morning, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme. This is Buddha's Meditation Manual. And today we're going to explore um, mindfulness of breathing. That is the first subject discussed under the heading um, The Body in the Body. Remember, this is the Satipatthana. There are four bases of mindfulness, the first base being the body. So we're going to start up. We're going to start chipping away at this. I want to keep these videos a little on the shorter side. Now, my, this is the we're drawing from the Maha Satipatthana Sutta. Remember, there are three incarnations or versions of this text: the extensive, the middling, and the concise. The extensive is the Maha Satipatthana. The middling is just the Satipatthana, and the concise is the. Anapanasati Sutta. I don't really teach it because it's too cryptic to be truly beneficial and creates more confusion than it heals. And last time I checked, humanity had no shortage of confusion, so why add more to it? Now, a lot of people, once again, I'm going to repeat myself, but this is important. A lot of people confuse Buddha's teachings with the teachings of Neo-Taoism, which says don't have any thoughts, or the teachings of Hinduism, which say have perfect concentration. Your mind can't move. That's not part of the Satipatthana process. What Buddha taught is, hey, notice. Wake up! Wake up, knucklehead! That's what Buddha's teaching. Notice what you're feeling, what your circumstances are, what your body's doing, what your body's sensations are, what your emotional sensations are, what your thoughts are. Notice, 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 and then do something clever with it. Not for the pro purpose of fixing it, because you ain't broke, but for the purpose of traversing the path of wisdom, peace, love, and joy. And peace does not mean absence of thoughts. It means surfing the excitement of this, the present moment in the most spiritually beneficial, pleasurable manner. So let's dig right in. I'm going to use my trusted smartphone over here, and I'll start reading to you while I play with various and sundry dialects. And how bhikkhus does a monk dwell contemplating the body in the body, which is great. He just said, guys, you got to contemplate the body in the body. And he saw a look of confusion descend like nightfall upon the faces of his students. In other words, their eyes glazed over the mouths, hang a hung agape, and a, a, a line of drool descended from the corner of their mouth. Not unlike Homer Simpson. <laughs> So let us continue. Here, Bhikkhu's a monk, having gone to the forest, to the foot of a tree, or to a secluded place, sits down cross-legged, keeps his upper body erect, and directs mindfulness toward the object of meditation. We're going to stop right there. Notice it doesn't say, listen, you have to sit in the full lotus, or you suck. He didn't say that at all. He didn't say you have to sit in the full lotus, the half lotus, the quarter lotus, or the Tara pose. He did not specify. He didn't say you could or could not sit like a kneeling samurai. He did not specify. Remember, these teachings are not intended to be a collar of slavery, but tools of liberation. He directs his mindfulness towards the object of meditation. Notice he doesn't say he, he hammers the peg of his concentration. No, his mindfulness. He's noticing rather than concentrating. The former is gentle. The latter is rigid. Rigid's not good. Rigid's great for structural engineering, but not too rigid. Otherwise, uh, the strong winds or during an earthquake a, a structure will shatter so we need flexibility in the human body we see we have flexibility there's flexibility in our bones and if you're a man there's even flexibility in your erection 
Flexibility is crucial. Well, that's enough for today. We've crossed the five-minute mark. I do not wish to tax your concentration any more than I already have. So if you found this remotely entertaining or perhaps beneficial, make sure that you don't miss out on my future videos. How do you do that? Simple. First, find the red button that reads subscribe. Give that bad boy a click. After you've done that to the right, you'll notice a circular icon that looks like a gear. Click that and you'll have an opportunity to click a box that will allow you to receive email notifications from YouTube every time I upload a video. That way, you won't miss out. If you've liked this, then by all means, click like and share it on social media. Now, I was free in, in, the, um, in my explanation, I was referring to the Maha Satipatthana Plus. You can download that for free using the first link in the doodly-doo. And if you'd like uh, to participate in the, two, the next series of classes, which begin the first Tuesday of December, you can. Come on down. If you live in Southern California, that'd be great. If you don't live in Southern California, no problem. You can participate during a live webinar simulcast. The registration for both is found in the second link, you guessed it, in the doodly-doo. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye.